Hi, so in this video, I'd like to show you how to connect to this data, this local database that we've made so far with one table called login details. So what we need to do is we need to go into our software, back into our software. So form one here, we'll double click on form one, we'll open up our software. And we're gonna simulate a login of some sort. So what we'll do is we'll add, we'll go to toolbox, which I have here. And if you don't have toolbox, just go to view the toolbox here. And uh, we'll add in username and password. So find our text box. So we can type in our username and password. And we'll use labels, username and password, username, so we can put in our username or login IDs, and then we'll look, put in our password, which is password, right? And then we can put a button in to activate our login. Give here login. Oh, whoops, that's a name. Sorry. BTN login. Here's the name of the button. What it shows though is log login. Hang on, did I just name the wrong thing? Yes, I did. This is form one. This should be form one. Form one. Sorry. This one over here should be BTN login. And what it should show is just login. This thing should be txt txt password. And this one over here should be txt username. And what I'll do is I'll put some defaults in. So I'll put the default hem, and I'll put the default pass, since I know that exists in our database. So I don't have to keep typing them in. All right, great. I'll, uh, I'll do this, and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll double click on the login. Uh, we don't need a form load. So this is our login button. We're gonna program this login button. We're gonna make this login button access our database that has this data in it and check to see if the username exists and the password matches. And then we're gonna output an, a, 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 a message box saying, congratulations, you're in, or authentication um, um, you know, uh, allowed or something like that. All right, so. First thing we want to do is we want to pull up the libraries that are related to the this connecting to this SQL and doing all the kinds of um, data operations required for this SQL. So we're going to import at the top here system.data.sql client. And now we're going to create an SQL connection. So We'll go dm sql equals new, and we're gonna make a new object. And this object will handle our SQL connection. This is our client, basically. It's gonna handle our SQL connection. Uh, it's going to handle push um, sending in the commands to the database so that we can retrieve data, modify data, delete data. So now that we've got a an SQL client, I can be a bit more specific. Uh, in this scenario, I'm using camel, ca uh, uh, camel casing because, not Pascal, Pascal's got a capital S, because this is local. So uh, uh, just the way I do it. And then gonna, what I'll do is I'll go sql.connection string, what was it, I think connection string, yeah. SQL client dot connection string 
and we need to set up this connection string so that it connects to the database that we've created here right so to get this connection string we need to go into sql server object explorer here now if you don't have it go to view and pull it up sql server object explorer which is here right and if you open it up you'll see that you would have a local um, sql local db already uh, ready for you to use and you won't have any databases in there that's because we haven't actually connected to the database that you've created here so we need to actually connect to it so what we need to do is um, uh, we need to refresh just to make sure it's connected and you can see how I've got another database that I I made previously that's not the one I wonder if I could just delete that one yep so this is the one that we just created here so we just make sure we do a refresh on it so that's connected actually it is connected see that connection there so it's all good we just need to make it appear here by pressing refresh there and if you open that up and open this up you'll see your login table here right that's the actual object right so it's very similar views isn't it and if you pull it up you'll see all the more detail you see object details um, rather right but the key is this is our this is our this is this is our server this is our um, sql server here and the server is running on our my ssd.pc this is basically the pc name you would have your pc name there and this over here is the database running on the server right and i need to connect to this so all of this information is important the connection string uh you need to put in quotation marks the data source the first thing that what you want to know is the data source and the data source is basically this local db here this 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 thing here so what i can do is i can right click and go rename and just copy that so i'm not renaming it i'm just getting it in there so that i can do a copy on it because i don't want to type it and then i would paste it into here all right so i'll just kind of go in and just to show you so we want so basically i just copied and pasted that there all right and then we put colon uh, a semicolon and we that's saying access this database but then look for because you have you could have more than one database you notice i had one another one before i deleted that one you need to know which database you're accessing and this is the database that we're accessing so what we'll do is we'll we'll go initial dialog initial dialog space di uh, catalog sorry initial space catalog equals right initial space catalog equals right so you've got data source equals and then you got the server then you put colon there and then you go initial catalog equals and then you basically we want to get this 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 whole path here so i'll right click on that go to rename copy it and then i'll go into here and paste it in and that is our this is the the connection string that will connect to this database now we just need to tell our client to connect to it so we'll go uh, hql client dot uh what was that uh, open wait a minute. open and that should work that should work right that should work um it shouldn't error out so if it doesn't if 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 i if this is this message appears we'll just go message connected uh, database connected if this if this message appears that, and it didn't hang up here then the connection is good so let's try that out so i'll just run the application and i'll click the and i'll have to click in the login button to activate this code all right so applications here i'll click login and it's connected so congratulations we've just connected to our database let me just have a look at the time all right so it's nearly 10 minutes i'll stop it here and i'll uh, do some more things uh, do some more operations in the next video